uh, another reason that you attract bad women or negative women is vulnerable energy and nice guy energy, right? Nice guy, like, you know, people pleasing, not necessarily people pleasing, but weak, just being weak, being a weak pushover. You attract negative energy like that. You attract negative people. You attract predators, right? Predators in nature, in nature, in human society, predators go after the weak. They don't go after strong people. It's not worth it. The juice don't be worth the squeeze to go after a strong opponent, right? When it, when a going to rob somebody, they wait for you to slip. They wait for you when you weak. They send a woman at you to when you know she make you bust a nut and you weak and you you know you weak your energy is drained and they catch you four o'clock in the morning while you sleep. This is why the po when the police come in to kick your door and they usually do it at five o'clock in the morning. When robbers come rob you, they usually waiting for a weak moment. When somebody trying to scam you, they do it when you at your most vulnerable. They they put out things to to appeal appeal to your vulnerable side. You see what I'm saying? When you see a lion go after a gazelle, they go after the weakest ones. Women can be predators too. Predators have titties too, right? And so predators go after the weak. And so when you're vulnerable, you're going to attract predatory women, narcissistic women, women who want to use and abuse you. You see what I'm saying? When you're dating, right? When you're out here dating, you want to make sure you're solid. You want to make sure you're strong. You want to make sure your shit is thorough, right? Because that repels a lot of that bullshit. You see what I'm saying? A lot of the times... You know, you you when you solid and your game on point, when your shit on point, you lose women, right? And it ain't because you're doing something wrong. It's because they know that you ain't the one. You ain't weak enough. So a woman may ghost you. A woman may go on a first date with you, right? And everything may seem to go good and she'll never call you again. You don't hear from her, right? If you know you solid and you know your game on point, you know what that is a lot of the times? She know that she can't take advantage of you. You know, yeah, but y'all let that get to you and shit like that. And you internalize that. But yeah. When you out here dating, you want to make sure your shit's solid. You know what I'm saying? Because you protect yourself from shit like that. You want to make sure your game's strong. Or as they say in the red pill community, you want to make sure your frame is solid. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to protect you from shit like that. It's going to protect you from that type of shit. When you dating, when you out here dating while you down and out and you broke, you're going to attract the worst type of women. Right? And let me let you guys in on a little secret. Women, right? There are women who date down, meaning there are women who date dusty dudes or dudes who don't have it together so they can control them, right? They can control them and they also know that they can half ass that man and he'll accept it. And they also know they'll mistreat that man and he'll accept it because later time, uh, because, you know, usually when a man is down in the dumps like that, he don't have a lot of confidence. He's, he's in a scarcity mindset. You know, he's not valuing and loving himself, you know, because he's in a fucked up place. Women know this. And so they typically deal with guys like that because it's safer for them and they can take advantage of you. It's a girl. It's a girl on TikTok. Her name is E. Kane. This is a perfect example of this. And she the biggest hoe ever, right? That's another thing. When you're down and out like that, you attract a lot of hoes. You attract the sluttiest of the sluttiest women. But her name is E. Kane, and her baby daddy is exactly what I'm saying. Dusty, a dusty ass dude. And she literally don't have no shame in saying, I fuck with him because I know I control him. You see what I'm saying? Pretty girl, funny girl, but she a hoe. And she say she a hoe. But she says she's very popular though. And she says, I fuck with him. Because I could control him and I could get I could get my rocks off on this nigga. You know, I know he can't fuck with nobody else. No, nobody else on his ass. There are women like that. When you down and out, these are the type of women you're going to attract, bro. You see what I'm saying? Try not to, you know, when you dating, if you down and out, and when I say down and out, you know, I, I mean like your confidence, you know, because just because you broke don't mean you're not confident because you can be down, right? Meaning financially, but you're aspiring to get back up. But when you're down and out and you just like plateau down and you just on the bottom of the bear shit, you got to be careful when you're dating. You got to be careful when you're dating because you are being targeted. Because guess what? Them shitty women, they can't, they don't have room in my life, bro. I'm not going to fuck with a bitch like that. And it's men who ain't going to fuck with them. They know that. But guess what? They need love too. They need somewhere to dump that toxic shit too. And guess who it's going to be? It's going to be you. So you attract shitty women when you're out here with this vulnerable energy. Another way uh, 
you know, is when you dating while you heartbroken. And this is something that I had to learn the hard way. When you heartbroken, man, just take a break. Take a month or two and get your shit together. Because that's when the real predators come out, when you're heartbroken, when you're vulnerable. You know, and, and, and it and it and, and it makes it ten times worse because the woman, the predator, those type of women know how to make you feel good, right? And it alleviates that that good feeling alleviates it, it, it alleviates the heartbreak. It makes the heartbreak, you know, so you don't think about the heartbreak. It makes it better. You see what I'm saying? But guess what? They gonna start flipping on you, and then it's gonna be worse. You see what I'm saying? Because the very thing that's making you feel good from the heartbreak. It's now it's making you feel bad. So now you got trauma that you, you know, trauma from the ex. And now you got this bullshit. And so now it's a double, a double whammy. It is very dangerous to date while you heartbroken. It's very dangerous. You and your girl break up. You get cheated on. It's very dangerous to get out here looking for something else and, and looking for women to make you feel good. Now, if you want to go get your rocks off a couple times, cool. But you need to be mindful of, you know, the type of women that you're attracting. You see what I'm saying? That rebound shit is deadly. That rebound shit is deadly. You have to be careful of dating like that. And again, that's something that I learned the hard way. I learned that shit the hard way. That shit don't feel good. You're you trying to get over one chick. This chick make you feel good two, three months in. Now she flipping on you. Right? Because that all, all that good shit, all that good shit she was giving you, that was so you can let your guard down. And so now she going she going to sink she going to sink her fangs in and go for blood. Don't feel good. Now you dealing with two, you dealing with this problem and you ain't even healed from this shit. So this is a mixed range of emotions. And I've I've been through that and I've coached men through shit like that. That's not a good situation. You see what I'm saying? Be careful while you dating dating while you heartbroken, bro. That vulnerable energy, you think that you think that people don't notice it or people don't see it, but they see it, especially women. Women can tell. They could tell by the tone of your voice. They could tell by the way that you walking. What type of time you on. You see what I'm saying? But our egos be in the way and thinking, oh, we just got it like that because we bagged us a bitch. You ain't bagged her. She bagged you. You ain't bagged her. She bagged you. She was plotting on you, bro. You sitting there. You, you talking on the phone for the first time. She heard some of that shit you were saying. She hit a tone in your voice and she licking her chops. And you know what's going to happen, Right. She going to accept the coffee date. She going to accept the walking apart. And she going to put that good pussy on you the first night to hook you in. She going to call you baby and daddy and all that shit. And make you feel real good. Make your bed. Baby, I can, you know, I want to help you. And, you know, that shit bullshit. Be mindful of the women who come around when you're down, bro. And I don't just mean financially. They there for a reason. Typically, the way women are wired. Listen to me. Use your mind. Use your brain, fellas. Typically, the way women are wired, women want guys who are up. Women want guys who are winners. Y'all see it all the time, right? Y'all see it all the time, right? Women want to hang at the finish line and fuck the winners. Y'all say that all the time. But then you don't apply it. Women are hardwired to want to date up. Men who are stronger. Men who are more superior mentally, physically. Men who can lead them and, and pr protect and provide. When you down in the dirt, you can't do none of that, bro. So you have to think, if women are like this and you down here, why is she fucking with you? Y'all got to start using y'all fucking heads, man. Why is she fucking with me right now? You see what I'm saying? Especially if she can know she know your situation. Women ain't just on no build to do shit and just want to come and fix your fucking life. And they don't even know you like that. Now, it's 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 a it's a difference from you know when a woman is invested in you, y'all doing y'all thing or whatever, and then you fall and then she's there to support you. That's different. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about women who, when you down and out, when you hurt, when you don't have confidence, when you broke, you can't figure it out. Those women that come around in, be mindful of them. And a lot of you young guys, a lot of times those be cougars for you young guys. They be cougars. They come in and make you feel good. They, you come, you come in their house. They smell good. They fix you the bomb ass dinner. They put that wild ass sex on you. Call you big daddy. All that shit. Then leave you at the crib while she go to work and shit. You better be careful. That's the trap. That's the hook. You see what I'm saying? But protect your energy. Don't be out in the world with vulnerable, hurt, 
negative energy. When you when you ain't got your confidence up, when you ain't, you know, when, when you ain't where you need to be, and not I'm not gonna say the way you need to be, but when your when your shit ain't solid, when you know you're not solid, when your when your frame ain't solid, when your mind ain't right, when your energy ain't right, when your heart ain't solid, you don't need to be out here dating, especially not seriously, trying to find a woman. Because the women who deal with that are not gonna be good women. You see what I'm saying? Now, a spinoff to the vulnerable energy is nice guy energy. When you're a fucking nice guy. And when I say nice guy, I mean a pushover, weak. Not that you're nice. I'm a nice person. I'm a nice guy. I'm very generous, right? But I'm not a pushover. I'm not a bitch. I'm not no sucker. You ain't finna be disrespecting me. I have boundaries, right? The women who accept the nice guys are typically there for financial gain. Right. And if they're not there for financial gain, they're there to drain your energy. Right. If a woman is accepting of this guy who don't have a spine. But it's more than likely both. But, you know, there's a financial incentive there. Right. When, when, when you have this type of this, this, this. Nice guy energy, I don't want to say beta male because that shit corny to me. But when you're a guy who's weak, let's just say weak energy, when you're a guy who's weak, a woman can't be safe with that, right? So she's pretty much only fucking with you for the provisioning. Or she's only fucking with you to drain you, and she giving somebody else that pussy. You know, or giving somebody else her real energy. But women, again, think about what y'all say that women want and women designed to be. So if you're weak and you know you're weak, and a woman is fucking with you, you already pretty much know why. You see what I'm saying? And again, women can f- spot guys like this and say, you know what? He's such a nice guy. I'm a fucking, um, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a put him to the side and I'm going to fuck with him. That's going to be my, I'm going to marry him. And I'm going to have a baby with him. And once I have a baby with him, I'm going to be set. I ain't got to respect him because he don't require, he ain't got no boundaries. I ain't got to respect him. And remember, women like that are shitty. Women who play the game like that are shitty. Remember, this is the type of women we attract in. Not we, but this is the type of women you attract. And you attract shitty women. Women who play the game like that are not good women. You see what I'm saying? Because a good woman is not going to exploit you because you're weak. I'll say that again. If it's a good woman, if you're dealing with a woman who's a good, solid woman, if she sees that you're weak or you're not attractive to her, she's just going to leave you. She's not going to stay and exploit you. Right? And you can tell you being exploited by the way that she's treating you. Is she pouring into you? Not giving you pussy. Remember, it's easy for a hoe to just give you some pussy. Right? But y'all take her being sexually submissive as just this like, oh, she's in love. No, it's easy for it's easy for her to do that. That ain't nothing for her. But is she pouring into you? Is she trying to make your life better? Is she trying to help you get stronger? Is she trying to uplift you? Is she supporting you? If she ain't doing that, if she ain't doing that, she ain't doing shit. She ain't there for you. She just there for what you can do. Is she giving you a headache? A lot of the times they give you a headache. They disrespectful. They 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 combative. But they nice enough and they fuck you enough just so you can keep them going. Just so you can give them enough energy and money to keep them going. You see what I'm saying? If you got that nice guy shitting you, you gotta get that out. I got a solution for you. If you got that nice guy shitting you, if you've been told, oh, you're such a nice guy, you're such a sweet guy, then hit me up. Join the Players Club, the playersclub.vip, the playersclub.vip. You got to get that up out your system. You know, that, that again, that's my private group, and I want you guys to, 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 you know, I want you guys to win. So hit me up there, and I got you. But, um, yeah, that nice guy energy attracts vampires. It attracts women who are exploitive. It attracts women who are going to use you and drain you. 